What's up guys, this is the last week of the Blood Hunt event. I covered issue number five in a separate video. That's the big finale of the whole thing. But we also have two tie-ins that come out this week. I thought I'd go over those with you just real quick. The first one is Midnight Suns Blood Hunt number three. This obviously is the last issue of this tie-in. This is written by Brian Hill and the art is by German Peralta. And like I said, it's the last issue, so I can't really say too much without spoiling everything. But in this, we see the Midnight Suns summon a demon that has been haunting, terrorizing the hospital that they're in. And it doesn't really have a whole lot to do with the Blood Hunt event proper, but it's still really, really cool. Next is Fantastic Four number 22. This is the last of the Fantastic Four issues that tie in with the Blood Hunt event. This is written by Ryan North and the art is by Ivan Fiorelli. And in this issue, Reed and Alicia are still trying to protect the group of survivors that they found when they went to New York City from a group of vampires that are trying to get at them. Reed gets really frustrated with this because vampires are based in magic, which he knows nothing about, but Alicia helps him focus on controlling the things that he does know. While all of that is going on, the rest of the Fantastic Four are traveling through their town out in Arizona, helping anyone that needs saving from the vampires that have taken over that town as well. And with that, the Blood Hunt event is complete. This was one of my favorite tie-ins. I really, really enjoyed seeing Reed and Alicia work together. We don't really see that too much. And then obviously the rest of the Fantastic Four staying in their town, just protecting the local townspeople around them. Everything about it was fantastic. No pun intended or maybe a little. So again, both of these books come out on Wednesday, July 31st. Let me know if you pick them up, and if you do, let me know what you think about them.